there, everyone. Hello, KWXers, and today we'll be talking about the upcoming heat wave for the southeastern Michigan area. And we've gotten a lot more data uh, and info on what could be possible tomorrow. This, in- this could include severe weather. This could include only intense heat. But it really relies on the convection tomorrow morning, which is also cloud cover. So let's get to talking about it. Uh, this... Uh, evening, it looks like it might be hot in some spots. I think it's going to be around 88, 87 degrees for most locations. But I wouldn't be surprised some areas reach. Uh, it feels like a 100, not 100, but around 90. And as you can see, there's that heat wave coming in. These, This is the temperature map. As you can see, it is very intense. So by the end of this day, I think we're going to see an excessive heat warning, watch, or advisory. Now, as you can see, this is not just for the southeastern Michigan area. We're talking places, uh, Missouri, uh, Illinois, Indiana, uh, western Ohio, and Kentucky, and possibly what seems to be some of Tennessee, uh, and just very crazy in general, crazy heat wave, but that should be gone by Friday, because we do have a cold front coming in at the same exact time as the heat wave on Thursday. But, as you can see on this model run, it doesn't bring any severe thunderstorms except toward the tri-states, uh, the, the thumb area. But we're going to see lots and lots of constant changes in the models. It's going to be more of a now cast. So uh, there is a capping concern, but there's still a 40% chance of thunderstorms for most of the region tomorrow. As you can see, though, there are those thunderstorms that form up near the thumb. But there's that cap that kind of destroys those storms. Now... If I go, let's say, zero, zero, Z, I bet you it's be a lot different, because that's how every model run is. This model run, now this is what came in this morning, pretty much aligns with it, and there's this MCS during Thursday night, also possible, waiting for more info on that, and then there's tomorrow on Thursday. Very crazy. So that's if the cap is not there in convection forms. Just look what happens. It's going to thrive on the instability and just to show you like how much instability we have here. No, this is a different run, but it's been pretty much the same every single run. Maybe just a few changes every run. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. But a uh, concern is for me is possible supercell development because look at these photographs. They're pretty crazy, pretty here, basically, if you see holographs like this, it's not going to be a fun day. It's going to be kind of crazy. And look how those those uh, holographs feed into the southeastern Michigan during that convective line, which is why we have a 2% tour today, because uh, weather models are saying there's a possibility of a MCS developing tonight in southeastern Michigan. So everyone be safe from that. So there's that. Sorry, it's taking forever to load everyone. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to continue on here. Also, sorry I'm not using my cam. It's not working well for me. This is Thursday morning. And the instability kind of just regains here. Yeah. Just look at that instability. Here, we're going to click on a sounding from here. Yeah, see, this is the her. So this would be a big, severe day. Uh, here's the supercell composite. It's at 27.9. But every run, it is uh, different. So that's why I can't say much. Uh, the concern is the cap in the atmosphere. Because if I go to 12Z, I bet you it's going to be different. And there's going to be pretty much the same amount of instability. But, you know, just not there. Here, I'm going to pause it and... I'm going to pause the, the recording and wait till the thing loads. Alright, so this finished running. And as you can see, the instability is most definitely there. Maybe a little less. Uh, there's still that rotation in the atmosphere. Still looking like a pretty crazy day if we can get that cap to break. This is just a different run. Uh, it's a little less, but it is still looking to be an unstable day. If... Uh, we can get the cap to break, and if we get the cap to break, it's gonna, it could be an explosive day, so, uh, I want everyone to be careful tomorrow, uh, stay extremely hydrated, 
like I want if you're outside it could be ranging from like a, it could be from 95 degrees to 110 degrees tomorrow depending on where you live it's gonna be a quite crazy time so let's move on to the SPC real quick here and let's take a look from the National Weather Service all right, here you go. So here's day one today, uh, Wednesday. This is for the MCS, possible for developing tonight. Now it could develop around here, but it could also develop here. There's a lot of different places, but uh, here's the tornado risk. So tornadoes are possible in this MCS. So again, be careful with that. And here's the wind risk uh, and hail risk. So there you go. Uh, day two, this got expanded more north. Right now we're under a marginal threat. Uh, Right now, just because of the uncertainty, the 2% tour is only right here, but I think that might expand over to these areas. But uh, here's a look at the wind and hail risk. Pretty much the same. And just why not? Let's look at the day three. Uh, turn off counties. Uh, as you can see, we have, a mar we have two possible areas of severe weather here and here. And that's pretty much all. Uh, again, stay hydrated. Stay out of the heat as much as you can, or if you want, go outside with an ice cream and chill. Uh, I think the chance of severe weather will maybe go to slight risk, but uh, if this, if one of those runs that we just saw earlier comes to fruition, we could see an enhanced risk uh, for severe weather. So again, be careful, drink a lot, and be ready for the unpredictable weather tomorrow.